Outdoor post lights can make a park, a pathway, or other walkways look beautiful, all the while providing safety and security. But while LED post lights are a smart choice, not all of them are the same. I'm Frank Robmeyer with Natural LED, and if you give me a couple of minutes, I'm sure I can show you the difference. Today we're going to be comparing the new Natural LED post top area light to some other post tops that are on the market today of similar style. The style that we're looking at is the sleek contemporary circular model post top with the directional down light. Not only to do these look really modern and contemporary, but the light produced casts downward. It eliminates the light trespass to the night sky and it protects the beautiful sky from any light pollution. This one is the natural LED post top. And this one is the competitive brand. Both are roughly 130 to 140 lumens per watt. Both are IP65 rated. And well, both look like they were designed by aliens from Area 51. But now, let's check out the little green details. First of all, the natural LED one is, as you can see, a little bit smaller and, well, a little bit lighter. Well, we actually weighed them and, as you can see, the natural LED post top is, it's, well, it's actually quite a bit lighter, in fact, which makes a world of difference if you're hauling these things up and down ladders all day, putting them in multiple applications. These post tops come standard with four kilovolt surge protection built right in. And if you want more, you can choose to add our optional 10 kilovolt or even 20 kilovolt surge protection package. Look, many of the standard post tops like this one come in one color temperature and one wattage. However, the natural LED post top has a feature that allows the user to easily select between three different wattages. This one can be either 60 watt, 80 watt, or even 100 watt and there is a lower wattage version available. The natural LED post top also has a dip switch that allows you to change the color temperature from 3000K to 4000K or even 5000K. On the side of the fixture is an access port. Just open it up with a screwdriver and you'll find both color temperature and wattage switches right inside. And next to that access port is a photo cell. The natural LED one has a very discreet photo cell on the side of the fixture. Check out how easily it is to turn it off if you don't want that photo cell active. You just unscrew the cover, flip the switch, and screw the watertight cover right back on. Now some of the other post tops like this one have a photo cell, but you have to install it, which really isn't all that difficult to install it just screws right into the top why would anyone want this big blue sensor sitting on top of this sleek modern fixture and if you live in the northern climate like i do you know how snow and ice can pile up and well cover that sensor up causing it to stay on all day long for months at a time one last thing I want to mention that you should keep in mind, especially if your project calls for you to buy multiple post tops, which let's be honest, most commercial applications do. You need to look into your local utility rebate programs because there may be money available to finance the project. In some cases, most of the project. Some competitors like these, well, they don't qualify for those rebates. But the natural LED post top, well, they're DLC premium rated and they comply with almost all of the utility rebates that are available. So if you're ready to upgrade from old metal halide post tops, or if you're looking to add some style to your outdoor pathways, don't just assume all LED post tops are the same. Check out natural LED and discover the difference.